Hi everyone, today let us make this 3D model using Fusion 360. As like always, we have to set up the units first. So check under the document setting whether the units are in MM and then switch on the origin. Click on your diagram which view will be easy for you to construct. Comparatively with your front side and the right side view, your top view will be very easy for you to construct. So let us construct the top view first. The base uh, you need to draw one circle of diameter 30 so let me pick the top view plane and then go for create sketch now select the circle command give a click on your center origin and draw one circle for, while drawing the circle if you did not mention the dimension you can very well add the dimension tool using the sketch dimension so pick on the sketch dimension tool click on the circle and then just move your cursor give one click where you can always edit all your dimensions so the diameter is 30 enter the value 30 and then enter in your keyboard so now the dimension is fixed to 30 uh, we need to draw one line from the circle end point to the center so end point to end point the distance is 60 so let me draw one rectangle because i need to draw two lines one on the other side and one from the Side. pick up a rectangle command and pick on the circle center point in case if you couldn't pick the center point exactly you can just move your mouse from the origin take your mouse from the origin just move slowly without any click you'll find this blue dotted also your midpoint will be located now you draw one rectangle and the length is six. once the distance is entered you can also use the tab option check whether the other side distance is 30 and then use the enter option in your key. So once you have constructed your rectangle, you can use your pan option, move your diagram to the left side and have some space on the right so that we can start the drawing the incline push so to come off the tool you can always use the escape tool and uh, this line it's not necessary so i can use the trim option and then trim off all the lines whichever you doesn't want also the inner circle it is not necessary now in this case you can also trim off the inner circle so once done you can use the escape so now if you see from the top view you have this inclined line so i will construct these inclined lines now pick a line command and then uh, exactly line from this point so since i do not know where exactly the line falls i can randomly pick one point and then join it with the end line one side of the line is drawn now similarly you can also draw on the other side or you can use a mirror too so first i will add the dimension for this inclined line go for the dimension tool so the end line to this inclined line the distance is 9 from this point to this point the distance along the horizontal side is 9 similarly along the vertical side also the distance is 9 so from this point to this point again i have to give one click enter the value 9 and then use the enter inclined line i need to draw it on the above side so for that i can simply use the mirror tool so in order to use a mirror tool we always need one center line so pick a line command and from the center origin draw one line without any diamond draw one line and then use the escape tool to come up to make this a center line you right click the line and go for normal center line so now the line will become a dotted line which means it this is your center so using the center line we can use the mirror option and reflect it on the other side so use the mirror tool select the object which you want to mirror this particular line i want to get it mirrored and use the mirror line so mirror line if you pick the center line automatically it will show you the preview so once your preview is done you can just click ok so the rest of the lines i can use the trim option erase all the, the lines which is not necessary the sketch is over i have to extrude this until the height of 9 so you can use the finish tool and then use the home option always to see your model in 3d representation and then go for it so click on the extrude tool and then you can pull the arrow head either to the top or bottom and the dimension is 9 so simply you can enter the dimension 9 and then click the enter option in your so our base is ready now let's make the height the entire height is 30 and we have used the height of 9 mm the remaining will be this push again i have to select the top surface go for create sketch give a circle command so draw a circle since i know already the circle diameter is 30 
So you can simply enter value 30 and then use the enter tool in your key. From the circle, we need to extend the line till the dimensions of 18. Draw one line. So from the circle center point. So you can catch the midpoint by dragging the mouse and extend the distance till 18. The same you can do it in the bottom or you can use the mirror tool. So pick a line, come to get the exact center point. Again, drag your mouse from the origin. Give a click here and then enter the dimension 8. So now two lines are ready. We can close it using the other line command. In the lines, we can easily remote off using the trim option. These lines are removed. Now I can extend only this post. We, we can go to the finish tool and then go for extra extrude distance i need to extrude only this portion and the distance is 30 minus 9 so the remaining distance will be 21 so we can enter the value 21 and then use the enter of to bring your diagram exactly to your workspace you can use the fit tool which is located next to your zoom option so overall the diagram outlook is ready now we need to make the center hole here so for making the center hole we can create this particular surface go for create sketch draw one circle and then we can use the extrude option otherwise we can directly create a hole using the direct hole option so go for the create hole so pick a where where you want to make the center hole so on this particular surface i want to make a hole so select the surface so immediately if you see the hole is being highlighted now the hole is free to rotate so i need to exactly place it at the center if you see the diagram your center point will be shown so i can zoom in so when you move the circle you can find two center points based on the diagram actually we have drawn previous so this is your center point of your circle and this based on the structure center so locate your center point first and then you can adjust your diameter or the radius so this is your entire depth and this is your diameter so diameter uh, we need to enter uh, radius is given a 7.5 so into multiplied by 2 will be your diameter and then the depth how much depth you want to take it so i want to take a depth the entire through hole so which means you want to have throughout the surface you can extend it beyond the diagram uh, the entire structure you can make the hole so once done you can use the enter of your keyboard so the entire so direct hole will be ready now the last portion is the rib of to make this inclined line i need to select the center plane and then draw one line and make using the rib box to do that it's a very simple process go for this friend plane and then go for create so i'm going to draw it on my friend plane so in case if you could not pick up the center uh, plane correctly you can open up the origin and then locate your center so this plane select and then go for create skill now pick a line command and draw the inclined line so in this is your end point here so just randomly draw one line just meeting both your end points see to that your point and the line is touching so now use the home option so you can see it in the three so once it is done a single line is drawn you can go to this finish sketch and then use the rib option to use the rib option you can take it from the create so under the create you can find so many tools and also a rib tool so in case if this tool you want it to be reflected on the top you can click the three dot and go for paint to toolbar so whichever tool you are using frequently you can make those tool to be reflected on the top so now i'll use the rip tool so select the tool and it will ask you for the profile so the profile is this select your profile and it will ask for the thickness and direction so we can use the rip tool in any way it's just if you drag your curve you can find how it has been created so as per diagram you can change the direction to the inwards or the outwards also you can change the direction like this and also you can flip the thickness you flip over the direction in case if it is on the other side and then it will ask you for the distance so distance you can enter the distance as 7 as mentioned in the diagram and then click enter open. so always check for the diagram whether you have replicated just as per all the dimensions mentioned so once every 
everything is done you can go to this new drawing from design to convert your drawing to the sheet form so in case if you haven't saved it it will ask you to save the file before converting to drawing here you have to select the appropriate sheet and then select to the software will take you to the new sheet uh, which is called as a drawing sheet a new tab will be open so always you can access your diagram in this previous tab so now as the page drawing page is loaded also your base view will be reflected in your diagram if you just move your mouse you can see the diagram the base view is ready so always you have to place your base view here exactly at the top left corner see to that your diagram is little bit visible hey, if it is small or big you can adjust your scale ratio so give a click where you want to place once you have given a click you can just click ok or you can use the enter option. so your base view is ready now and go for the projected go give a click on your base view take your project to the right side so it will be a right side view take it to your bottom so it becomes your top view and then your isometric so once you have clicked on the three sides you can just click the enter tool your three views are ready including the isometric so now if you double click your title box you can also always edit your department name everything so once all the data are entered edited you can use the enter option and always we have to give the dimensions for the drawing so you can use the dimension tool here on the top and pick the end points wherever you want to give the dimension don't add too much of dimension so in case if i want to give the diameter for this particular portion you can click the circle so automatically your diagram dimension will be made this point to the 60 and the side is 30 and the horizontal also if you want to add fewer the day time will add it and then export it to pdf format so for exporting you can use this export option just click ok and wherever you want to save the software will ask you for the location you can change in the location and save in case if you want to access your uh, 3d model based on the dimension if there are any changes if you find you want to redo it can go back to your diagram in this nearby tab open up the sketch always you can modify each and every sketch at any time or if you want to change the rib option you can use the timeline and then whichever you want to edit the sketch you can just double click and make the necessary case if you want to make the whole diameter or the extrusion 